In the outskirts of a small, forgotten town lay the ruins of an old asylum. It was a place shrouded in mystery and fear, abandoned for decades, with stories of the tormented souls who once lived there. The asylum was said to be haunted, its walls echoing with the cries and whispers of the patients who had suffered within. Few dared to venture near, and those who did never stayed for long. One night, a group of thrill-seekers, Alex, Emma, Ryan, and Chloe, decided to explore the asylum. They had heard the stories and wanted to experience the thrill of a haunted adventure. Armed with flashlights and a sense of bravado, they set out for the asylum, determined to uncover its secrets. As they approached the crumbling building, a chill ran down their spines. The asylum loomed before them, its broken windows and decaying walls standing as a testament to years of neglect. The air was thick with an eerie silence, broken only by the distant hoot of an owl. Are we really doing this? Emma whispered, her voice trembling. Come on, it's just an old building, Alex replied, trying to sound confident. Let's go. They pushed open the heavy, creaking doors and stepped inside. The interior was dark and foreboding, with peeling paint and mold-covered walls. The air smelled of damp and decay. Their flashlights cast long, flickering shadows that seemed to dance on the walls, creating an unsettling atmosphere. As they ventured deeper into the asylum, they began to hear faint whispers. At first, it was just a murmur, but gradually, the voices grew louder, more insistent. It was as if the walls themselves were alive, speaking to them in hushed tones. Do you hear that? Chloe asked, her eyes wide with fear. Ryan nodded, his face pale. It's probably just the wind. But they all knew it wasn't the wind. The whispers seemed to come from all around them, echoing through the empty halls. Words and phrases floated in the air, just beyond comprehension. The atmosphere grew colder, and a sense of dread settled over them. They stumbled upon an old, rusted door that led to the basement. Despite their fear, curiosity drove them forward. The basement was even darker and more oppressive than the rest of the asylum. Old medical equipment and broken furniture littered the floor, and the walls were covered in strange, unsettling drawings. In the corner of the room, they found an old journal. It belonged to Dr. Whitmore, the asylum's last doctor. The journal detailed his experiments on the patients, his descent into madness, and the strange occurrences that plagued the asylum. He wrote about the whispers, the ghostly apparitions, and the feeling of being watched. As they read, the whispers grew louder, more urgent. The friends realized they needed to leave immediately. They ran back through the dark, twisting halls, the whispers following them, growing into a cacophony of voices urging them to stay. They burst out of the asylum and into the cold night air, their hearts pounding. The whispers ceased, leaving an eerie silence. Shaken and terrified, they vowed never to return. The asylum remained, a dark and foreboding presence on the edge of town. The friends never spoke of what had happened, but they knew the legend was true. The asylum was haunted, and those who dared to enter would never escape its grasp.